Hi, my name is Jessica Rose from the London Jewellery School and I'm going to show you how to use Fimo beads and I'm going to show you how to use them to make a bracelet out of them. You're going to need some chain nose pliers, some side cutters, some stringing material, I'm going to use tiger tail wire, um, a closed jump ring, a silver clasp and some crimps. So to start off with I'm just going to take a length of my tiger tail wire and I'm going to be making a bracelet out of these FIMO beads and always make sure you take plenty of wire so take much more than you're going to actually need because you don't want to run out and thread on your beads one by one and once you've got all your beads on you want to check that it's going to be the right size so just gently hold it over your wrist and check and remember that there's going to be a clasp as well so that looks fine for me and now I'm going to attach on my clasp so I'm going to take a crimp and thread it on to the end of the wire and a crimp is just like a small tiny silver bead and I'm going to take my jump ring and thread that on next and then thread the tiger tail back through the crimp to trap my jump ring in place. It can be a little bit fiddly but once you've done it a few times it gets much easier. And then to secure my crimp, I'm just going to take my chain nose pliers and gently squeeze over the crimp to squash it down so it's nice and secure. I'm then going to take my side cutters and cut off the excess wire that we don't need. I'm going to push my beads round and repeat the same process on the other side, except for instead of using a jump ring, you're going to use a clasp. So first of all I thread on my crimp followed by I've got a bolt ring clasp which is a bolt clasp and it's got a little loop in which means I can thread it on to the wire and then I'm going to thread the tiger tail back through the crimp as I did on the other side. and pull it nice and tight and squash the crimp with your chain nose pliers. And finally I'm going to cut off the excess wire that we don't need. And there we have a finished Fimo bracelet. And that's how to use Fimo beads.